I'm Rohit Gai and this is the Great British Chef's signature series. When I went to Nepal, I found, you know, a couple of regional dishes and this is one of my favorites. So this is the marination and the cooking method, they call sekma. Kotele's fine dining approach, I use a lot of seasonal produce, mainly focus on the game birds and animals. During the summertime, I always introduce my seafood menu as well. Hi, this is Rohit Gai and we are at Kotele Chelsea. So today we're going to make sekwa fish. This is a very simple and uh, you know easy to make dish and this dish is from Nepal. So first of all we will go through with all the ingredients what we have here and uh, we're going to make the base for to marinate the fish and after that we can do pan sear it. This is rice flour, corn flour. Actually you guys can use you know plain flour only but I, I'm using corn flour and rice flour to make this dish 100% gluten free. Now I'm going to add Kashmiri chili powder. That's the spice uh, called Timur. Uh, this is from the Sejuan pepper family. It's called mountain pepper as well. And fresh chopped green chilies, a little bit. Lime juice and mustard oil. Little salt cinnamon powder and toasted cumin chopped ginger there's few extra ingredients but if you don't have it you must use at least cinnamon caram seed mountain peppers mustard oil i'm just going to mix it if it's too thick rather than using water always dilute with mustard oil so it will become like a you know proper smooth paste and here I'm using fresh fish fillets. In Nepal, I saw they was using like whole tiny fishes. They just apply the marination on the whole fish and they used to cook over the open bonfire. Here I'm using lemon sole fillets. These are like, you know, quite thin belly fish and it's easy to cook. Try and use white fish with the thin fillet, basically. So once your fish, everything is nicely, you know, marinated with the spice paste, uh, leave the fish in the fridge for at least about 30 to 45 minutes to get the better results and flavors. So once your pan is hot, just place the fish fillet and make sure you marinate the fish from both sides. It shouldn't take more than seven to eight minutes. Let me have a quick look. I'm just going to flip it over. Look at that, the nice color, we got it. This fish, I'm going to serve with uh, a very special uh, chutney as well. It's, a, it's, for, it's made with the roasted tomato, again tomato garlic, and uh, there will be a tamur, the special mountain pepper from Nepal. For the full recipe, it's available on Great British Chefs, so you can get it from there as well. The Nepali pepper, people will call mountain pepper, some people call Sejuan peppers as well, because it it's belongs to the same family. It has very pungent flavor, very strong um, aroma as well. And uh, it's worked really well with the chutney. And even, you know, in that chutney, I use roasted sesame seed as well to get the right flavor. And the fish is now ready to serve. Now I'm gonna place the fish there. Even this fish is quite popular at my brand new restaurant, Manthan. I'm gonna serve with the roasted tomato and garlic chutney. Indian food has unlimited depth. So I would say after spending 19 years in my career, I won't try to say, you know, I'm keep, uh, you know, learning. Every day there's a different learnings. Here I put a couple of pickled onions to get the right crunch and few chopped fresh coriander leaves and lime wedge. Here's my sequa fish ready to go.